Hey, what's going on there, folks? Good afternoon. It is the Earth Master here checking in from the beautiful state of Texas on this Saturday, July 1st, 2023. It's about uh, 1.27 p.m. here along the uh, Texas area, Central Time. A little bit of movement in SoCal kicking up here uh, just off the Sierra uh, Madre Fault Zone. That's going to be this little, that's actually a little thrust fault here against the mountains. 2.6 coming in with a little bit of microquake activity as well. As uh, far as the rest of California, very small earthquake movement across the region. Uh, we did see some earthquake activity earlier uh, this morning out in an odd area near the 90 East Ridge, well off the Java Trench region out into the South Indian Ocean. A 5.8, this originally came in a little bit larger, I believe, about 2 o'clock in the morning. So little unusual activity kicking off out there. We do see a little bit, little bit of uh, earthquake activity on occasion, but it's been a little while. Uh, we are getting a little swarming up here along the Aleutian Trench as well. Uh, yesterday and overnight, we did see some deeper movement quakes. Uh, the latest, a 4.8, 87 kilometers deep. So it looks like things are on a broad scale uptick here across the Aleutian Trench, the northern part of the Pacific Ring of Fire. Also around the Kurokam Chaka Trench, getting some deeper activity as well. Keep an eye on this area for some uh, potential further movement. Uh, Alaska region, mostly microquake activity further up into the uh, mainland area. Over here along the plate boundary of the North American and Pacific plate, north of the Cascadia, got a 4.0 coming in about four o'clock this morning. Slight uptick though overall across this plate boundary. Uh, not a whole lot going on through the Fiji Islands area or New Zealand, South America, a little bit of smaller activity. And, of course, the Puerto Rico Trench has been uh, quite busy lately here with uh, earthquake activity. Quite a few twos and some threes up here, specifically around the Puerto Rico Trench area. Uh, continue to watch that. rest of the country out here looks fairly quiet, folks. Uh, going to jump into space weather activity real quick, and then we've got to get going. Uh, we are covering some weather events a little bit later on this evening outside the Odessa area. Uh, we do have a massive sunspot region here, 3354, that is dynamically growing in size and com complexity here. Uh, notice all the numerous sunspot um, colors here, indicating that very complex structure in the sunspot region. So we continue to watch that. Right now it's uh, fairly stable. Well, it hasn't really popped off any uh, major solar flares, but it, it, I think it's getting ready to. We'll continue to watch that uh, as it is kind of shooting off towards the northwestern quadrant of the sun. That's going to be 3354. Uh, no major space weather events are headed, headed our way for now. The Storm Prediction Center does have some severe weather potential uh, out here, of course, around the uh, Midwest area. We are going to be out here tonight for a little slight risk for some severe weather with a 2% chance of tornado probability. I think the main, hits, main threat is going to be some hail some damaging winds from a uh, supercell that's going to fire up here about six or seven o'clock this evening uh, we'll be out here kind of covering that so if you want to see some cool lightning a little bit later tonight i'm sure there'll be plenty of it we'll live stream here uh, so make sure you guys tune in for that um all right so i'm going to jump off here folks have a good day um we'll catch you guys back here a little bit later on uh, once these storms get rolling take care